I'm Karen Algersma at the Bateman Center right here in Victoria's Inner Harbor at the launch of the Bike for Wildlife. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, the World Youth Climbing Championships and a couch and valley woman who's making unique and healthy skincare products and the turtles that call Vancouver Island home. All that and more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello, thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We're surrounded by wildlife right now, aren't we, Adam Creek, Olympic yes. rower? Um, <laughs> we are at the beautiful Bateman Center, and as I look around at all the wildlife and the beautiful artwork that just depicts um, so much of what we love about being in this incredible country of ours, I am so excited about today's launch because what are we launching today, Adam Creek? We are launching today the National Bike for Wildlife by the Canadian Wildlife Federation. And we have a woman by the name of Angela Goran, in fact, an old university roommate of mine. And she is, she is biking from Victoria to the other side of the, the country, uh, making stops along the way to educate youth in schools, uh, at a, stopping at aquariums and, and that sort of thing. And really just promoting the beauty of our wilderness, getting outside, being active in the wilderness, and actually connecting and spending time outdoors. Eight years ago, I interviewed Robert Bateman and we talked about his passion for getting kids off of screens and outside, climbing trees and enjoying just being a kid and, and, and all that nature has to give a kid. It's like the best playground. And he changed the way I parented. I thought I was doing a good job of allowing my child to kind of, you know, not do too much screen time and get outside. But after that interview, I completely changed my, my whole perspective of how my kids spent their leisure time. And a lot of trees have been climbed <laughs> since that interview. Um, this really is about getting kids to get, I mean, it's the way little boys and little girls used to be, isn't it? Getting outside and playing. Well, it's what's natural. And yeah. the future belongs to the nature smart. And you've seen studies that have come out. There's one recently that compared someone going for a walk for 45 minutes in the city versus going for a walk for 45 minutes minutes in nature and they found that if you go for a walk for 45 minutes in nature versus the city you retain 20 percent more information and so in fact spending time in nature is better for your mind it's better for our development if you believe in evolutionary biology which I think most people with a scientific background do it's uh, you know it's fundamental to to how we can learn grow develop and maximize our potential and maximize the potential of our youth how about you adam did you play outside and enjoy like climbing oh, yeah. trees and it's true well i grew up there was a, a giant creek by my house i'd go in there i'd fall in there's this mini quicksand pit i'd fall in like past my knees i'd pick crayfish i'd eat dirt all that kind of stuff and that's father... how he got so tall it's <laughs> the eating true. of the dirt the dirt yeah. <laughs> and uh, my father would take me on canoe trips up i grew up in ontario so up in algonquin Park and some of the northern areas of Ontario and I and when you look at you know children who have and I guess suppose adults who have a healthy relationship with the outdoors it's a directly result of what their parents have done or what they've experienced as a youth because we know that um, our perception of the planet forms between grade 7 and grade 9 and I think this is ideal that Ange is reaching out and communicating with, with kids in this age because this is how you can change and shape a society. Let's fight for nature and let's implant the power of nature within our child's mind. And that's the power of the Canadian Wildlife Federation and that's what we're doing. We're, we're promoting the joy and the beauty of nature and the joy and beauty of being active in nature. I'm so inspired. I just want to go outside right now. Although, help, you know, because Bateman's all around me, I feel like I'm outside. Um, one of the things that kids love to do, as we talked about, is climb trees. They also love to climb walls. And there are youth from all over the country that have come right here to Victoria to uh, Stelly's, the boulder climbing wall, for a huge competition. Our very own Jen Moranitz has this story. It is like watching Spider-Man on steroids. So cool. Watching those young people climb just is incredible. You would think that Jenna had the camera on fast forward, but no, that's how fast they really are. 
So go check out uh, the climbing competition. You can sit outside and watch it out at Stelly School in Central Saanich. It's extraordinary. We are also talking about extraordinary people today, <laughs> like Angela here, who's going to bike yeah. how many miles across this <sighs> country of ours? Approximately 6,000 kilometers. <laughs> oh my word, that's insane. But you know, what an amazing cause. Tell everyone why you're cycling 6,000 kilometers oh, across gosh. the country. Uh, the main focus, it's for the Canadian Wildlife Federation and the outreach is all about youth and families getting, the con getting them connected with nature and the outdoors. So that's 100% and it's all about fundraising to actually put back into programs that get kids and families back into nature. So it's one of those programs that we cut so easily because we're like, it's, it's not, it, we're not going to die if we don't get kids out in nature and yet it is probably one of the best preventative health measures, uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, um, and it's also uh, one of the best preventative measures to keep our environment healthy. 100%, absolutely. You can't go anywhere wrong when you kind of look at the connection that the Canadian Wildlife Federation has with education and schools and kids. The outreach is direct and it's right into the homes, right? So when you look at what's going on with childhood obesity right now, there's no purpose for that. And especially when we've got Canada, this unbelievable country that has, you know, parks and nature and playgrounds. It's, it's all about let's get outdoors, let's connect, let's see what's there and, you know, appreciate the nature and the wildlife that's out there as well. We want to talk to you a little bit uh, more about what's going on. It's so exciting. Exciting, um, because you're launching right here in Victoria. <laughs> right now. Uh, but first, um, speaking of health and wellness, the biggest organ in our entire body happens to be our, do you know the answer? I'd like to say our heart and our brain. It's our skin. Oh, our, our skin. skin oh my gorgeous. gosh, the largest one. That's quite true. I, I would never thought. And we put horrible things on our skin, not even thinking about the chemicals and uh, the parabens and how they're going to affect our health. Well, there is one woman in the Cowichan Valley who's thought a lot about this, and she has all sorts of lotions and oh, wow. potions that aren't only good for your skin, but healthy. Very, our very own Suchetta Singh has that story. Thank you for that story, Suchetta. I'm gonna have to get myself some of those lotions and potions. I need a little help, I need a little help. We're here at the Bateman Center in Victoria's beautiful Inner Harbor, uh, launching a Bike for Wildlife. Now, Lloyd, the Canadian Wildlife Federation is passionate about getting people outside and enjoy nature because I, I believe that when you fall in love with nature, you'll preserve it and you'll love it for the rest of your life. What does this bike ride mean to your organization? I think the main goal of this Angela's ride is to increase awareness all the way across the country for wildlife, for wild spaces, for the outdoors, and to help uh, raise awareness and money for our conservation programs. Do you think there's a rippling effect to getting our young people outside and enjoying nature? Absolutely. It's been proven time and time again that a connection with wildlife and nature uh, is beneficial to, like you said, our healthcare system and uh, keeps the kids busy, gives them something to do, um, just gets them outside to experience what's out there. Amazing. I almost feel like I am in nature right now at the Bateman Center as I'm surrounded by all this incredible artwork. Um, we are going to continue to tell you about how you can get involved in Bike for Wildlife. And I, I know what you're thinking. It's hard to sit and stay watching the show. You just want to get outside and go climb a tree. But don't go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to introduce you to some turtles. Welcome back to Go Island. We're at the beautiful Bateman Center, surrounded by nature, which is what today's show is all about. Angela, you are about to launch your 6,000 kilometer bike ride across the country. Yes. Raising money and awareness um, to get for wildlife. For wildlife, for the Canadian Wildlife Federation, for kids, for families. And, uh, it, and I know that you were asking too about checking out where we can actually, how can you participate? Yes. You, yeah. You can go right online to bikeforwildlife.ca or canadianwildlifefederation.ca. Uh, right there, it has a participate now, donate now, you can actually register as a participant, a team, a school, an individual, and, uh, and all be active. You can also watch the live track map, Ooh. which is really cool. You can actually even see my heart rate and all that. But uh, the one thing that you can do is you can actually join in on the bike ride as we come through and, and join us at all the events in the 67 communities across Canada. I'm so excited. We're going to tell you exactly what's going to be happening in Victoria in just a moment, but first, Turtles. Yes, we have an abundance of turtles right here on Vancouver Island. And our very own Vijay Lorraine Scullin uh, met up 
Habitat Acquisition Trust to find out a little bit more about these slow but very exotic creatures. <laughs> Um, it's my turtle, turtle? In impersonation. But who knew that uh, we had uh, this incredible turtle habitat right here in Vancouver Island? But that's what it's all about. If Absolutely. you get out in nature, you learn just by being out there. Just by being out there, just by seeing and appreciating what's out there as well. So, yes, absolutely. Okay, the bike ride starts here, right here in, in Victoria. What can people right here in this city do to help you, support you, and be part of what you're doing? Oh my gosh, there's two things. You can go to bikeforwildlife.ca or canadianwildlifefederation.ca, donate, create your own profile, join the ride, tweet, Facebook. So fall Angela as she rides across this country, it's gonna be exciting to watch you, and you're gonna come play with us and talk to us when you get back and tell us about your adventures. Absolutely, you bet, deal. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we have to take a very quick break, but stay with us, because when we come back, we have an amazing story about one of the most tragic shipwrecks our country has ever had. Good luck, Angela. Make sure you follow Angela on the Bike for Wildlife. You can go to her website, bikeforwildlife.ca. Thank you so much for watching Go Island. Woohoo! Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network, Men's Wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co, Menswear and Accessories, Hair Services provided by Salon J.